Hello and howdy there. Um, last night, and a couple nights ago, I watched A Cat in Paris. Um, it's very short. It's only 60 minutes long. Uh, actually, like 59 minutes and um, some seconds, which uh, qualifies it as a feature-length film uh, to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Uh, this film was nominated for... Uh, best animated film uh, last year at the Oscars. It did not win, uh, but just to be nominated, I'm sure, was fantastic for it. Uh, again, it's very short. Uh, after I watched it the first time, I thought, you know, I could watch that again. And I did. So I actually watched it twice this week. Um, but I'm now recording my review. Uh, I thought it was delightful. Um, I thought it was kind of a breath of fresh air. Um, it's very simple. It's very elegant. Um, it's uh, a French film. It's, uh, again, it's animated. I usually think, or prefer, that my uh, animated films, especially, obviously, foreign animated films, not have subtitles. Uh, I like to, you know, not be able to pay attention to the bottom of the screen, uh, you know, reading what the character says, and while instead uh, focusing on the frame and the colors and uh, the movement. Um, here, I didn't mind so much because I feel that the French language, uh, being as musical as it is, I don't, I can't see any other language uh, coming out of these characters. It seems like the animation, uh, even the music, seems to be cued to the actors' voices. Um, I, I really can't describe it other than everything in this film is fluid. Uh, everything is always in motion. Uh, the story, especially, always in motion. Um, and I don't know, the the language, the, the movement of the mouth, I just, I don't see how this film could be uh, played using any other language. It just wouldn't sound right, wouldn't feel right. Uh, so you have to hear the French track uh, and put up with reading the subtitles. Even though uh, that's primarily my main decision, uh, main factor into watching it twice is so that I could, uh, you know, know the story, know what the characters are basically saying, and then focus on, uh, again, the movement, the animation, uh, the frame. Uh, so I think if you want to watch this film twice, it's very easy to do. Again, it's exactly 60 minutes long, so it uh, is an hour that will just, uh, you know, disappear. Uh, because the story is just so perfectly told, and, and it's just... Uh, a nice little story. Um, I'll give the film an 8. I think I've settled on an 8. Uh, I can't give it a 9, I don't feel, just because of the length. You know, I, I would think that if you could cut a film down to 60 minutes, I'd say any other film would be, you know, better uh, if they could just cut out the fat. Um, and just get to the meat of the story. I, I don't know if you could do that to the Avengers. You know, can you make the Avengers a 60-minute film? I think technically you could. Um, it would probably be pretty insane. Uh, and maybe not mean much. But anyway, I think an 8 is fair. Um, it was written by Alain Gagnon uh, and Jacques Remy Girard. Uh, Jacques Remy Girard was also the producer. Um, he helped write it. Uh, and Alan Gagnon uh, also helped direct it uh, with Jean Loup Felicioli. Fili Felicioli. Um, they are the directors, Felicioli and Gagnon. And Gagnon, again, was a co writer. Um, it says uh, from the directors of *Le Tragedy Minusculus*, uh, a film that I've never heard of. Um, perhaps I should uh, 
research it, uh, look it up, since I enjoyed this one so much. Uh, the film is about uh, a cat. Actually, the subtitle read that the film was, was called The Life of a Cat. Uh, again, this is just a cat in Paris. Uh, that's how it was brought out in America. Um, I didn't get to see this in the theater. I had the opportunity. Uh, I never really buckled down for it. Well, I think probably because I, in my mind, I couldn't justify spending upwards of $12 for a 60-minute film. I don't know. I just kind of argued myself out of it. But it did come to my neighborhood, uh, but it was only there for about two weeks. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, so this got about a two-week release in, I would say, five to six screens in Los Angeles. Um, so a pretty good, you know, run. If you wanted to see it, if you felt the desire to, you definitely could. Uh, I just never got around to it. Um, it's about a cat uh, that leads a double life. Uh, during the day, it uh, stays with a, with a family. Uh, a mom, a single mom, and a daughter. Uh, and at night, goes out, uh, well, as, as the sidekick of a uh, cat burglar, a high-end jewelry thief who runs along the rooftops of Paris at night uh, stealing your belongings. Uh, again, a cat burglar. Uh, the cat's lives uh, finally intersect. Um, in a nice twist, uh, the cat's family, the single mom and the daughter, um, she is a police detective uh, looking for a cat burglar and little do they know their cat is sneaking out to help you know the cat burglar um, also a uh, mob figure is wanting to uh, steal a giant statue I, I don't know how they would have gotten that done but uh, it wanted to steal a giant statue um, and as a another uh, tie-in this uh, mobster trying to steal the statue which the police are like gearing up for they you know pretty sure he's going to try and steal it is responsible for the death of the husband and father of the family of which we've become acquainted um, so really there's just this story again is very intelligent and it's wrapped up with a pretty little bow um, there's no real loose ends. Uh, I think that's just what makes it flow so easily. Again, it's just 60 minutes that just go by in a flash. Uh, and I think a part of it is just because of the gorgeous animation. There's, uh, It's hand-drawn, um, a traditionally animated. Uh, the movement, the character design, it's, it's totally new to me. Uh, I, I loved watching the characters move, um, and everything seemed to be in motion somewhat. Uh, even if it was just a backdrop of a city, it's, it seemed to be kind of like a breathing painting. Uh, I, I don't really know how else to describe it. It just seemed to, to be alive uh, with art. Um, All the acting is is really good that I think it again it goes hand in hand with the film I don't think that this film should be heard with any other language but French um, I think it just goes with the animation perfectly uh, in fact I you know can't help but think that they were like designed together even more so than any other animated film um, the music was amazing uh, both I'm not sure if this has an original score I mean there's orchestral pieces but I kind of got the feeling that those orchestral pieces were classical music because it kind of seemed familiar, sound, sounded familiar, and I thought that maybe it was just uh, classical music that you know a sharper ear would know. Uh, but it, to me, it definitely sounded familiar, uh, and also the source music uh, from the time. Uh, actually, it's a modern day tale, but uh, the source music coming from the scene, the radios, is all just great. It's kind of all old-fashioned music, making it kind of a timeless feel, even though they have current uh, technology. Um, but again, it just gives it this feel of it could have taken place at, at one minute you think you're in, you know, the 1950s, and then, you know, they pull out 
a cell phone or uh, you know use a microwave and you know that you've got to be in kind of modern day um, but the music is all is all great uh, all of the sound really to go uh, with the movement uh, with the with the screen all of the sound is just fantastic um, you know it's sweet it's uh, again it's just I can't think of a better adjective than delightful you know it's delightful um, it, it makes you feel happy uh, the French I always associate French art uh, no matter what medium uh, with brutal honesty uh, emphasis on the brutal you know they don't really pussyfoot around uh, and that's the case here this is I mean for all intents and purposes a kids film uh, I mean it's about a kid but uh, it definitely deals with the great truths of life, you know, uh, death and loneliness uh, and rising above, um, you know, strength. Uh, I, I was I was not surprised, uh, you know, seeing that you know from the French. You even though it's again a sweet little ro you know animated movie that you have to think about uh you know the existential nature of life um which i enjoyed uh i don't really know what else to say other than i enjoyed it uh looked gorgeous sounded gorgeous it was gorgeous so yeah i think uh oh, i guess i'll read the cast just to do it uh Oreni Zani uh Bruno Salomone and Dominique Blanc uh I'm not sure who is who but again all of the voice acting was was very good um I enjoyed it a lot uh so I think that about wraps it up I give it a solid eight you know I enjoyed it again after I watched it the first time I you know said you know I've got to watch that again uh, so there's nothing wrong with that and I think that says something in itself uh, so that's a cat in Paris I give it a solid eight thank you very much